My name is uh, 2LT Oscar Karkut. I joined the Canadian Armed Forces in 2018 through the regular officer training program, mostly because I was interested in traveling, uh, always chased adventures. Ever since I was a child, I was uh, interested in everything related to aviation and the military. 22 Wing Canadian Forces Base in North Bay, home to 51 Squadron Aerospace Control and Warning Operational Training Squadron. Six students are embarking on their new journey in the forces to become air battle managers, a tough and mentally grueling challenge to become part of a group of guardians protecting our skies from enemy threats in a joint effort with the United States Air Force protecting the safety of our two nations. After completing testing of the Canadian Forces School of Aerospace Control Operations in Cornwall, Ontario, they will now begin their final phase of training over the next four to five months at 22 Wing. I am 2nd Lieutenant Elizabeth Audet. I come from a small town, Saint-Joseph-du-Lac in Quebec. I think I just wanted to be uh, special and go somewhere nobody else was going. So I joined the Royal Military College of Saint-Jean in Quebec. I graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Their primary duty is to ensure the day-to-day -day air mission is executed. These students depend on the overall military operations for air-to-air -air engagement using their airborne and land-based radars. Air battle managers ensure combat aircraft find, identify, and destroy their targets by providing the pilots with a big picture that increases their situational awareness. I'm 2nd Lieutenant Sydney Gobey. I'm from Bruno, Saskatchewan. I went to school at the University of Saskatchewan, graduated in 2019 with a Bachelor of Art Honours with a major in English and a minor in Digital Culture and New Media. I wanted to become an air battle manager because it sounded the most interesting to me out of the three streams for aerospace control and because it offered travel opportunities. They will have to learn airborne weapon systems, ground control systems and radar, meteorology, air regulations and navigation orders, command and control directives governing the control of interceptor aircraft. The students will partake in daily simulations or live missions and will be tested weekly. It will be a fast-paced learning environment over a long training process. No easy task when you are training far away from family, friends, and other support networks. Hi, I'm 12T Monica Chung. I graduated RMC Royal Military College of Canada in 2021 and I studied political science there. I joined the Canadian Armed Forces back in 2017 because I was inspired by my grandfather who was a Korean War veteran as well as a detective officer. I chose to become an air battle manager because I love how dynamic the trade is and every mission that we get to control is different every day and I love that challenge. So this course is demanding, it's difficult. Uh, mentally. What we're teaching you is incredibly exciting. You're going to control live aircraft on this course. You're going to go to the United States and control U.S. Air Force fighters. I'm 2nd Lieutenant Samantha Doma. I graduated from the Royal Military College of Canada in 2021 with a Bachelor's of Arts in Psychology. My rank is 2nd Lieutenant and uh, my name is Marc St. Pierre Bernard. I wanted to be an air battle manager because it's a high-paced job with the multitasking and it offers a lot of traveling opportunity. Follow these students along in upcoming episodes on their journey as we watch these six officers go through their ups and downs on this challenging course. Should they pass, they will be part of a specialized community of air battle managers that have the training and ability to conduct planning and control of airborne military assets on both the domestic and international stage. 